Hestetter will punt it to Austin Conway. Fair catch called for. And it bounces and dies. Did it touch Conway's foot? The Hawkeyes touch it up, but it did not. And you get the second nine and third nine. That's not Iowa's wheelhouse, especially with a quarterback that's still kind of getting settled in. So the punter is Colton Rastetter. He's a lefty, sophomore, first-year punter. DeAndre Tompkins is a dangerous returner for Penn State, and he waves for a fair catch, and Penn State will take over in Iowa territory at the 45 after a 35-yard punt. Eric Sickles and Carl, Carl Nassib have had some good edge oh. rushers at Penn State in recent years. The lefty, Rastetter, has been busy already, and this is not one of his best efforts. For the second time, not what they're looking for for the punting game. Spotted out near the Penn State 40. Well, this has been an adventure. Let's see if Penn State comes after this one again. They do. Gets it off, but again, not very good. And Tompkins had a chance. Uh, he bumped into it. That's going to be a penalty on Iowa. He really couldn't get up to make the fair catch. So kick catch interference. Once again, a short field ahead. Larice Nelson back to return. And it's Stewart who is there to slide down and make the catch. Nelson and Stewart back. Given the incredible field position for the Spartans, it's surprising that this is only a 14-7 Michigan State lead. As right now, we check in for a game break. We bring in Greg Wolf. You had to stop the momentum. And that was a big key right there. Ryan Gersande, freshman's taking over the punting duties, and this is a short one. Yeah, it is stopped around the 25. Only a 25-yard punt for Gersande. Minnesota's got it. Down 7-0 when you come back. Colton Rastetter picks it up at the 10 off a of bounce. Great kick coverage from Iowa. Fourth time, three and out for this Hawkeye offense. And credit that Wisconsin defense on a sudden change situation again. Oh, my. Off the side of the foot. And then it harmlessly settles in at the 26. Let's go to the studio for an update with Cassidy. This Jim Leonard defense has been outstanding. And over in punt by Rastetter. Does take an Iowa bounce. Yep. And then it's down. Holly? Well, guys, that we were talking about the college football playoff. And, and on third down, they're 0 for 12. 0 for 12 against this Wisconsin defense. Nelson's going to let it drop in. And we remind you that coming up tonight on ESPN, we will have another game that will impact the college football playoff rankings. It's completely on the coaching staff. Short punt. Anthrop says get out of the way. And it's going to die right near midfield. Purdue is going to have excellent field position to start their second possession with a 7-0 lead. So the Hawkeyes will punt it away. Rastetter out of bounds. Yes. Bad punt. Lousy punt. That's going to be a midfield for Purdue. Rastetter only 21 yards on the punt. His enthusiasm has not diminished. <laughs> and another bad punt. Bounces at the 45 of Iowa and it dies at the 47 and the crowd unhappy. Kevin, yeah, that's the, maybe the three lousiest punts I've seen all season long, all from Iowa. 20 yards for Colton Rastetter. Colton Rastetter to punt. Winded his back, averages 39 yards. The morning Pearson L. Last time that Nebraska beat Iowa he had two great returns, including one for a touchdown. Middle never have a chance. Rastetter had a problem with the snap. Iowa's punting woes continue. Nebraska will have great field position. Rastetter.
Hofstetter, the punter, just drops this. This was a good snap right to him. I mean, it just went right through his hands. Not really an explanation for that one. That one's just a tough, tough fielding call. It's a punter. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the only explanation I would have for it. He's not your typical football player. It's a punter because you should be able to field that. Mike Riley told us to look for two players back to return punts today at times because of the win. There are two back right now. Tyjon Lindsay is the one who picks it up and he's turning and he's spinning and he's looking for some sort of bailout from a block, but it's not going to happen. He's down to the 25 after the punt. We'll return with the score tied at seven after this. That's why we see Colton Rastetler out there to punt. It's low, gets an Iowa Hawkeye bounce, and then it goes back. So Boston College will get the ball from their own 38 as we are talking football in the Bronx. So just like that, a three and out, and Iowa forced the punt. Michael Walker with a fair catch just inside the 20. We go back. Boston College told us they thought they had a chance to block a punt during this ball game. Well, here's their chance. Looks like they're coming after it. And the punt. Fair catch there. Signal by Walker. 